All right, so today we've got upper. Uh, I'm starting off with chest, I've already warmed up. So we're gonna jump straight into 50s and yeah, go from there. So today's session is pretty short. It's like the home session that uh, Tree has given me. So we'll knock this first set out as a warm up set and see how I feel. Shoulders still feeling a bit tight, but it's better. Oh. So, probably gonna go maybe 55. Um, and I'm gonna go a little bit wider in the hand placement so I can target that chest more. So diet's been going really well. I've like moved the meal placements to, uh, I guess, be right before I train and right after. And I've split, instead of doing breakfast and then dinner, I'm now doing three meals a day. And even though I'm on lower calories, it's actually been a lot easier to maintain that because uh, I've split the calories just mentally. Plus I'm, I'm not working as much, so um, it's been easier to relax in the afternoon, which has been good. Um, spending time with the doggos and working on some business ideas and stuff, which has been good. And then lately I've been watching a lot of um, inspirational videos and kind of like trying to build that work ethic that you really need when you're pushing yourself to build a business or whatever you're doing in life like you got to be focused and focus on what is really important and what you want to achieve and anyone can take that in any part of their life so whether you're trying to get a new job or you're trying to do really well to get a promotion or you're trying to build something you need to have that drive and ambition and focus and make that an everyday habit it doesn't have to be big to start with. Like just start with small things like read something every day, learn something new every day, have an action item list and break down all the tasks and then tick off a small task every single day. Cause then it's not one thing that'll make you successful. It's that commitment to show up and do it every single day for 10, 15, 20 years is what's important that consistency, because if you've got that consistency, the next person that has just started, you're ahead of them. The next person who gave up after five years, you're ahead of them now. So it's just about being there and showing up. Oh, and after the, so I did a squat session on, I think it was Monday, I did hip doctors and man, my hips were blown out after that. I think it was just too much too much in one go. Normally Tree and I don't get to that. We only do the squats. It was just too much stress on the body. I had like tight lower back, it was spasming a little bit. It was hard to sit down for work. And finally, like I've still got a little bit residual, but it took me like a week to recover. It probably didn't help not having the, the amount of calories to like help that recovery. So we're doing six sets of four I did 58s before, but I'm gonna go wider grip to really target the chest. Three second tempo on the way down. And this will be like five breaths and keep going because it'll be a cluster. So six sets of four, let's put in these four reps. All right, so I'll see you guys after this set because I'm gonna try and do it all in one go. Oh.
third set. Last set to go. That last rep was hard, but oh, it's good to push through that. So one of the recent things I've been watching is a lot of YouTube documentaries on Kobe Bryant and his work ethic. And it's not just his work ethic to the game that really connected with me. It was the, when, he's, when the head coach for the Lakers, Phil, was like introducing the spiritual aspect to the game and connecting that way, I feel like that's missing from my life. And like, not in a religious sense, but like just in what your beliefs are and why you're doing what you're doing. But then also what really resonated with me, which is something that Trey and I talk about, is you showing up for your family and the important friends and what's important in life amongst what you're really passionate and focused on. Like there's no point in being an entrepreneur and chasing this thing and having all these other, like of course things are gonna be sacrificed and you won't be able to go on holidays or like hang out with your friends as much, but there is certain commitments. And from Kobe's perspective, it was like talking about his kids and turning up for their birthdays, especially in their prime years when they're younger, they don't understand that and how it was still treated as part of the game. Like you would turn up and, and do that. And I kind of see, like I don't have kids, but I see that in my life of like there's important people and important things to turn up for. And like picking out those moments and what they are and making sure that they're a priority, but that I've done the work so that I can have that time is uh, also important and can be applied to a lot of other things. All right, so we're doing dumbbell Y raise. I'll set up and I'll see you guys in a sec. So this one's four sets 12. I did five last week, but I dropped down after the first set, because I started on seven and a half, so I'm starting at fives. Uh, just because I know my shoulders are a little bit weak still. That left shoulder, still feeling it. All right, let's get this done.
Almost set to go. So incline press and there's something else. We're gonna warm up with 15s because I had 15s last week and see how that feels. And then I might go to 17 and a half. So 15s feel good. Shoulders feeling a little bit unstable, so. We'll leave it at that. So you can take the concept of chipping away at something every day or focusing on something every day into how do you want to get into cyber? So I've always said, get a mentor. Recruiters and my friends who do the hiring process all say it's not a race, like it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So take your time, learn stuff day by day, like get on a platform that's gamified learning. You don't have to finish an investigation in a night because even when you work, you don't finish an investigation in a night. But just commit to an hour a night, figure out what you can cut out. Are you watching three hours of Netflix or something every night? Cut out an hour and do some study. Then spend another hour where you sit on the couch with Netflix, something in the background and just do some reading. Like you'd be amazed at where you can find time in your day. Now everyone's got different circumstances. If you've got kids or you've got family that you're looking after, that'll definitely be different and affect not only how much time you have, but how much energy you have. But instead of doing it every night, maybe you can do it two nights a week and figure out which nights those are, commit an hour. And then in a year, you've got 104 hours under your belt of what you've studied. So, it's a slow build. Everything's a slow build. Ah, oh, 10 eccentric pull-ups, which is gonna be fucked. All right, so I think it's 10 of these. Yeah, 10 of these and then 10 pull-ups. It's gonna be shit. Oh. Eccentric just means the negative. So jump to the top, let yourself down. I need some grips as well just to help get through. I think it's three sets of these, but still, it's a lot of reps.
So eccentric pull-ups are great. They help build strength. They help build muscle. Because what you want in most movements is that downwards movement or the kind of think of it as letting gravity assist you. You want it to be slow and controlled. You don't need to hold at the top because contracted muscle doesn't promote growth it promotes strength only. Three second count on the way down and you want to really make sure that as you're getting to the 90 degrees or right at the bottom, you're not just like letting go. Really stretch into that bottom of the movement, feel the stretch and then go up. And doing these is a good way to progress if you don't have pull-ups. So a lot of women struggle with upper body strength and they go to bands. And bands have been shown that they're not helpful because they're not helping you in the hardest part of the movement, which is getting up to the top. They kind of only bounce you at the bottom where that's where you're strongest. So doing eccentric, like if you wanted to get your first pull up, try and do 10 eccentric, slow, controlled, three seconds. If you're just starting out, don't push it too much. Like do one eccentric, have a bit of a rest, two eccentrics. The other thing you can use is a machine. If you've got a gym where you put your knees on the pad and then you adjust your body weight, because that's not dynamic resistance. That's just giving you the resistance you need through the whole movement. So pro tip for people out there that want to get their first pull up. And everyone starts somewhere. I remember when I was like 19, 20, couldn't do a pull up. But now I can, I think like the most I've ever done in a row is 11 strict. But yeah, again, chip away at it. I wouldn't do it every day, maybe every second. Listen to your body, take rest when you need it. Same concept with your mind. If you need it, if you're starting to feel sick, it's probably because you're starting to get sick. So ease off, have a rest, take a day off. Don't do as much. Obviously this doesn't apply to everyone. Like if you're really focused, high performing athlete, different story, but in general, most of us are human, not superhumans. Oh. There's only three sets. So we got one more to go. So it'll still be another two weeks before I do another body check-in with Tree. Because he's away this week and then I'm away next week. We'll be training in Adelaide and there won't be any training videos from there because I'm not going to take the camera. Oh, I might record some stuff on my phone and upload it, but yeah, we'll do a bit of a progress check now. So weigh myself this morning or yesterday 
I'm 88 kilos. I'm looking pretty good. Like the chest, some of the abs are coming out. I've eaten and drank a lot of water this morning, so I'll have that sitting on me at the moment. Um, obviously with the back, when I blew that out, walking went down a lot. Um, like I was not hitting my step count. I was not doing the cardio sessions either. I think I got one in and then I blew it out and like just could not complete the rest. Cause kind of like as I'm moving through that upper body range, I would get to a certain angle and it would tweak and I'd kind of like spasm up a little bit. I still managed to fit in the training cause like the rest of it isn't legs. But uh, yeah, it was a bit of, a bit of a shame to be set back. But then again, like it's about adapting it's about adapting your training program and fitting in what you can. So upper body was completely fine because I wasn't going through that squat motion. Like I just needed to take my time. Like I was doing single arm pull downs where I was kind of like half squatting on the floor with the machine pulling it down. And that was okay once I got into position. But I just need to be cautious as I moved in and out of that position until, and I made sure when I injured my back like I spent a lot of time on the floor rolling around, making sure that it wasn't like a spinal movement or like feeling for anything that felt like it was torn or anything like, like I've had a lot of injuries through sports. So I kind of knew what I was looking for and could just tell it was like my, my nervous system had been taxed too much and it was freaking out and it was kind of like sending those pain signals when I was trying to move through certain movements because it was like, okay, you need to stop, you need to rest. And that was me just listening to my body being like, okay, I'm not injured, but my body's had enough of squatting and it's had enough of moving through those motions. Hopefully this comes out right. So I've got a new lens for the camera as well, um, which I was really excited to get. So I have a fixed fix lens camera. It's a Sony ZV-1F, which is like their vlogging camera. And uh, yeah, it's their vlogging camera. But uh, yeah, so the company makes has like a little thread in it and they make screw on lenses. So hopefully this has helped. It's like a wide angle lens. So it should look a little bit better, especially in here, but we'll see. Oh, so yeah, strap myself in.
what was it, 12, 12 reps. Yeah, 12 reps of kickbacks. Can't take 12 and a half of these. I reckon let's get seven and a half. Just have a bit more control. So I'm definitely pumped. After doing those skull crushes. Two more sets. Oh, all right. Two more sets. Let's go. Let's get it done. Kickbacks. All right, so I'm almost set. I'm gonna go and do that, and then, yeah, I'll leave you guys with it. It's a nice quick one today. Uh, won't have anything, but then when I come back, the first Wednesday back will be a weigh-in session with Tree, so um, that'll be really good, and then I'll jump into the cardio as well. I'll hopefully be doing some cardio down in Adelaide. Lots of walking, because I'm staying in the city. But yeah. Feels good. I think it's, it's less than 50 days. It's like 49 days left. So that's like, what? Fucking bad at math sometimes. Seven weeks? Kind of. Yeah. I don't know. It's coming up though. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll record on my, my phone and talk about my diet in Adelaide while I'm being away because it'd be harder to maintain the current eggs for breakfast, kind of smoothie. And then uh, I've been having turkey and rice for dinner. So I'll be good while I'm down there. It'll just be harder. Um, and I'll kind of comment on that and maybe take some photos and post that on my Instagram. So you guys can keep track of that. But yeah, thanks everyone. And I'll catch you all next time.